Today I'm going to be reviewing Blue Exorcist, the movie. A little synopsis of the movie is basically the main character, Rin Okamura, after an encounter with a bunch of different things, ends up having to babysit, in a way, a small demon named Osamuro. There's about to be a festival going on, and instead of having this demon sealed away, they decided to have him babysit the demon until the festival is over, and then they'll seal him away. And after a while, Rin actually starts to bond with this demon and see that he's actually not that bad of a demon and starts to wonder exactly why did they want to seal him away. And one of the things off the gate that I noticed about this movie is that definitely they try to tug on the heartstrings because throughout the movie you get really attached to this little character Osamuro because you see he's kind of just like this little innocent misunderstood demon. Throughout the movie things start unraveling that makes it look like this demon Osamuro is actually bad and a lot of people start to come after him. And there's also another thread out there of this big giant monster looking thing that started off in the beginning of the movie when they were on a train. One of the pitfalls of this movie definitely I gotta say for starters is that it doesn't have a really big villain. Like I said earlier it's pretty much this big blob and it really doesn't feel all that menacing. And then you have the little demon Osamuro and he really never came across as a villain either. So as far as having a big threat or a big villain this movie definitely doesn't do it. And if you're looking for a lot of action this movie is also very light on that as well. It doesn't really go action heavy throughout it. You got a little bit in the beginning and you also get a little bit in the end but for the most part it really just is telling this little story about this demon. And I was actually pleasantly surprised at this movie. Initially it was mainly set up and it was setting things up for future events throughout the movie and it was kind of slow paced but by the end of the movie you actually start getting attached to these characters and once again like I said it pulls on the heartstrings. Animation of this movie is absolutely phenomenal, beautiful, they did an amazing job on the animation, the backgrounds, the character designs, everything about the animation is absolutely flawless. Especially they went top notch when Rin goes into his demon form and the flames start appearing on him, it looks freaking amazing and for the small amount of action scenes that you do get the animation just makes it look even 10 times better. Now, now the story isn't that grand, it isn't the greatest. To be honest with you, it's a very simplistic story, just mainly telling the bond between Rin and this demon, the misunderstanding of what happens with this demon, and pretty much kind of integrating it through history. Another character introduced in this movie is Chang Long Liu, and he's pretty much has some sort of history as well with his ancestors, with this Usamuro character. He kind of comes across as a badass, doesn't really care about people, looks down on some of the characters. But throughout the movie, you definitely see a bit more development with him, and it's kind of nice for him being introduced to this movie. You get a little bit of character development throughout it and although you start off looking at him like yo this guy's a piece of shit he ends up turning out to be decent guy. Still an asshole though. So as far as characters go, you get the basic ones from the anime and the manga. You get Rin Okamura, you get Yukio Okamura, the brothers. You also get Shira, the fan service of the series, but also the kick-ass woman. She doesn't do too much in this movie, but I definitely say for what she did do, she served her purpose. Being badass. Another character from the series you get is a little bit of Shamey in the beginning of the movie, and throughout the movie you see her here and there. She doesn't play that big of a role besides in the beginning. And other characters from the series make cameos as well, such as Mephesto and Amaimon. Bit disappointed that we've got barely any time with a Maimon because to be honest with you from the anime he was one of my favorite characters and one of the most kick ass that battle that we've seen in the anime now I've seen this movie in English dub starring Johnny Young Bosch as Yukio Okamoto as well as Bryce Pappenbrook as Rin Okamoto you remember Johnny Young Bosch from Bleach as Ichigo Kurosaki as well as Lelouch B. Britannia from Code Geass and you might know Bryce Pappenbrook from Sword Art Online as Kirito hearing the dub for the very first time for this series I gotta say that it was actually a pretty decent one weren't any stellar performances or anything because the writing wasn't too deep and there weren't too many dramatic scenes but for what they did do they did a good job now as far as overall enjoyment of the movie i gotta say that personally it was a good movie i got a lot of enjoyment out of it but i definitely said there was some missed opportunities again on the action category it was light on the action you really got mostly the beginning and the end and for a shonen movie where you're coming in looking for that cinematic epic battlefield so that was one of the things missing another thing is the pacing of the movie for the most part a lot of it was just trying to make you bond with the characters and at times while it was like oh it's kind of you know enjoyable and it's nice to see a refreshing thing sometimes it takes a bit too long and it's just really trying to force the fact that these characters are bonding and it wants you to feel the connection as well which at times I did but then at times it just started getting a bit like let's move things along so overall as a whole I feel as though it was a good movie I give this movie a 7 out of 10 few missed opportunities here or there I feel as though the movie could have used a bit more action as well as it could have used more big scenes because the middle of the movie was mainly showcasing the characters investigating stuff kind of feeling like slice of life and when you're going for a movie you're really looking forward to seeing some big things happening now I recommend if you haven't seen Blue Exorcist the anime yet at least watch the first few episodes of it so that way you get a bit more of an understanding of these characters because it does reference back to the anime from time to time so you won't have prior knowledge as to why these characters are feeling this way. I had the privilege of watching this movie in theaters it had a select run in the US with a couple different states playing it and I gotta say as an enjoyment level and on a cinematic aspect this movie definitely was pretty enjoyable. So again good movie 7 out of 10 let me know what you think if you've seen the movie did you enjoy it what did you think of it did it pull on the 
heartstrings with that whole Usamado character. Just your overall thoughts of it. Did you get a kick out of the first Blue Exorcist movie? For me personally, for a first try, I feel like though it was good. It missed out on some opportunities, but it did a decent job. But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for Blue Exorcist having its first movie. Hopefully there's some more to come and even bigger and more grander things to come with it. I'm Fenebo World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.